Capricorn. How are you? Thank you so much for being here with me today. Happy Saturday. If it's Saturday where you're watching this, um, it's Saturday when I'm filming this, but this is timeless. So whenever you stumble upon it is when spirit has decided that you need the messages within. So stick around and see what we find out about your upcoming days and your love life. I'm shuffling the um, energy oracle deck here. And the first thing out for Capricorn is door to romance, door to romance. We have the second. So we do have something's opening up for you, Capricorn. Um, love is coming into your life. I feel for some of you, it's spiritually guided. Some of you, and I know this is strange to throw into a love reading, but it came to me anyway. And I am a medium. Um, some of you have lost a loved one that you're really, really torn up over that you were very, very close with. And they are saying, we opened this door for you. We open this door for you because we don't want you to be alone because we want you to have the love that you deserve. And we're sending somebody to you that will hold your heart as near and dear to them as I did when I was in the physical and still do as I watch you from here. So I'm getting choked up. So some of you, I'm so sorry if you lost someone. I'm so sorry. Um, but they are here saying, I'm opening the door to romance to you. I want you to have what you deserve. I want you to have what you're wishing for. And I'm working very hard on the other side to bring that to you. So Capricorn card 33, someone is helping you. And for those of you who don't have a loved one um, that you would connect with like that on the other side, there's just your spiritual team working to get you the love that you've been wishing for or the change in your current situation that you've been wishing for so you can have the fulfillment and romance that you deserve. We have second chakra, Archangel Ariel coming in. Sacral chakra represented by the color orange coming up from the base of the spine. Um, you're, you know, there's a lot of passionate energy in the sacral chakra. So some of you might need to, um, might connect with Archangel Ariel. Some of you, Archangel Ariel is watching over your love life and guiding you and helping that door to romance come open too. Some of you might need to do some work on your sacral chakra and balancing that. What else for Capricorn? Victory, Capricorn, 28. Victory, a 10. 28 is a 10 in numerology. Completion. You're about to come to, um, you're about to win something that you have, not, not like a prize. It could be for some of you, but you're about to have a victory. You're about to have success. And it's very divinely guided. And I mean success in love, you know. Um, and there's just a lot of passionate creativity and all this energy flowing around you and you're getting ready for a victory. Some of you Capricorns are getting ready to walk away. It's interesting because you have 27 walking away and then 28 victory. Like this is what you need to do. You know you need to do it or you just did and it was hard or you, you were, you know, didn't want to. But this is what's coming because you did sweet, sweet victory. Having what you truly desire, having what you truly deserve. You took action to bring a balance into your life and spirit has recognized that. And spirit is saying, I am so proud of you. And you are now going to reap the harvest of choosing what was best for you. So let's see what comes out of the Alice in Wonderland deck for you. Capricorn. I haven't used these. I don't use these cards very often. Let's take a look and see. Capricorn. Card 32. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. So a lot of you are. You have, you're walking away to create your own life. And when you're dreaming it up, you're putting it into the subconscious and helping to bring it into reality. And then we have follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you, Capricorn. You have been getting some kind of hints from your inner self, from your spiritual team, from your loved ones on the other side, that you might need to take some sort of an action, that you might need to really, really step up to the plate and take action for yourself and create your own dream and spirit saying it is going to happen follow your own good advice in this because your intuition is really guiding you capricorn and that is going to help you to have that victory because your intuition is never going to steer you wrong one way or another it's trying to tell you something 
So let's take a look um, at the book because this last card is clock is number 14. It's clock and time. And I will say that the number one, four or 41 has personally become to me like a number that can signify reunion or reconciliation. So if you're in that position, know that, look at that. It's only a matter of time before it's coming. And that is for a few of you, um, you know, you know who it is. Um, so let's take a look and see what this says here. Um, this is a card of feeling pushed to complete too many tasks and inability to say no. Um, this is a card asking you not to rush, to pull back, to stay calm, to have a plan, to stick to it, okay, and all will be well. So that seems like a pretty significant message for some Capricorn, and I'm sure it's going to resonate differently for everyone out there. So just see how it resonates for you, okay, and just go with that. Um, let's take a look here. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. We have the door to romance, and then we have just romance in general coming out. Okay, some of you are really getting ready to embark on a really, like, I get this blissful, luscious, juicy, romantic phase in your life. It's really amazing, Capricorn. It feels really good. Like somebody's going to be coming in to bring you into balance or just whirlwind you into a love affair that's going to lull you. And it's going to be actually really good for you. Um, and for those of you that have walked away from love and maybe felt like it wasn't ever coming back, here it comes <laughs> right back in Capricorn it's coming some of you have gone through a period of that you know I saw the destruction card so some of you have had some stuff in your life that hasn't been very pleasant but spirit saying hey the door to victory is coming you release something I mean there's so much here there's walking away somebody going through a fence and leaving a woman we have the bird cage opening up and leaving the love out. <laughs> they trapped love. And then we have this all about like releasing and opening up and letting something go. You might have changed your perception on something and that is shifting everything in your reality. That's like be a part of your own dream, like the Alice in Wonderland card. Once your perception changes, everything around you changes. Life is such a mystery, but spirit says, follow the mystery, follow the path. Don't read into it too much. Don't worry about it too much. Just enjoy it as it unfolds, Capricorn, because it is about to get sexy. Um, and for some of you, you really need this because for some of you, you might've felt as of recently or in recent years, you've been put through it. You feel like you have been destroyed. You have been put through the ringer. You have been just taken the rug ripped right out from under you Capricorn but spirits here saying it's time to release this now it's time to release the pain the negativity and all that part of your life and let it go put it behind you and embrace the new because that is what's coming in and what's coming in Capricorn are major blessings major blessings and romance that are going to nourish your soul the way a delicious nutritious homemade meal nourishes your physical body that's pretty good some of you are coming into union or you're coming into reconciliation okay so some of you have a lot of stuff to get for to look forward to to get prepared for to get excited about after a period that might have been pretty dark this summer capricorn is going to be so hot let's take a look here all right for Capricorn in their love life. What do we need to know? A win-win outcome is forecast. Some of you have been worried about something. Some of you are here to find out if you're going to reconcile with a love and spirits you're saying you are, okay? It's only a matter of time. Release any negativity, any worry that it won't happen. Know that it will. A win-win outcome is forecast for you and the person you're waiting on. And if you're not waiting on a reconciliation, a win-win outcome is forecast for what's happened in your path, for the choices you've made, because Capricorn, you're moving into a period of intense romance, you know, um, a lot of, I feel like a lot of very sexual energy. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Ace of Wands come out in the regular tarot, a lot of sexual energy. Um, it's going to be a very exciting time. And confidence is always, of course, your key to success, believing that you deserve, believing that you um, deserve the best, that you, you know, um, that you won't settle, you know, believing that you deserve happiness. All of that is going to be your key. 
And look at this, you're very, very close to achieving your goal. And spirit saying, Capricorn, a new start is coming, a much, much needed new start. Even if it's just reviving the love that you might be worried is like fizzling out for you. Um, let's see here. Let's take a look at some regular tarot for Capricorn. For the Capricorn guided here. What do they need to know now? Yeah, we have the lovers. Somebody made a choice to leave a relationship, leave a situationship, leave a marriage, something. Somebody made the choice. And now Spirit's saying, because you made this choice, the lover's card can also be about making a choice, not just about love. Um, you're going to have this ending and it's going to lead to a beautiful new transformation that's opening the door to romance. It's bringing this new start into your life. And because you did make this choice, excuse me, you have this new start coming that's going to be so amazing. And some of you are coming into out of the grips of death. You feel like you might have been coming out of the grips of death and back into a beautiful, beautiful, loving connection that's going to really um, just add fire to your life. And it just feels really amazing for a lot of you Capricorns right now. Look at that. Just like I said, I kind of thought we'd see the Ace of Wands come out and bam, there it is. That sexual energy, that new exciting beginning, that fire coming in. And it just feels as though um, you're just going to have a whirlwind romance, you know, and not one that leaves, one that stays Capricorn. So somebody's loved one wants them to know, look at that marriage, your relationship that you're longing for to either save or for it to finally come into you is coming. It's being divinely guided. It's going to be full of love, passion, excitement, sexual energy, and, and, and marriage, or at least long-term commitment where it's just exactly what you hope a commitment would be in your life. That's coming for you after a time of not really of feeling like you don't have like a feeling of lack, like a feeling like you can't even see what's good right now to a degree, but you've been waiting, you've been waiting and you've been kind of working on it and spirit saying it is coming six of wands. You're about to have a victory. You're about to have a victory. Let's see if we can get one more. Yes. Oh, so Capricorn. Ten of Cups, and I just did a Virgo reading, and they ended on almost the same note. They ended on Ten of Pentacles and Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, and I did shuffle. So we have Ten of Cups coming in for Capricorn and Four of Wands, two of the happiest love cards in the deck that one can get right after a victory, after putting in the time, putting in the effort, and the waiting, and the wondering, and the hoping, or the wishing. Capricorn, your happy ending is finally here. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you liked your reading, Capricorn. If you did and you want to find out how to get a reading that is personal for you or connect with me on a personal level, just check the description box below for ways to do that. Thank you so much for being here. Sending you my heart light.